what's up everybody uh, want to do a quick video real fast uh, before I go any further make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button okay got lots of stuff to give you guys so there'll be plenty more videos to come but um, anyhow today's video I just want to touch on something real fast I've been going through a bunch of uh, YouTube channels and uh, going through a bunch of stuff and looking at uh, a lot of questions uh, I haven't gotten just yet because again you know the channel's still new but you know um, some questions out there and I'd like to give you guys my point of view um, apparently there seems to be a lot of questions about what's the best truck to do hot shot in and um, truck the truck itself that's gonna be preference guys really it's gonna be preference you know every truck's gonna have different creature comforts as they call them different features um, that they're gonna offer you but if you're going to be doing anything in a pulling capacity on a regular basis, this is what I want you guys to take in consideration, okay? Look at a semi truck. Look at the semi industry, okay? It is a multi-billion dollar industry. And every motor in every semi truck since the mid 80s runs an inline six configuration. The reason is very simple, an inline six diesel motor does not require as much effort to produce the horsepower and the torque required to move weight down the road. Now, the Duramax is a great motor. Ford can't seem to figure out what they want to do. Look at Ford's history when it comes to diesel motors. 7.3 was the best thing that they put into a pickup truck. However, they didn't stay with that configuration. They went to the 6.0, then they went to the 6 whatever. And it, every single time you turn around, every couple of years, Ford is trying to figure a way to do it better because a V8 design in diesel is not the best way to do it. If you look at uh, Chevy and Duramax, GMC, uh, they are actually dabbling now with an inline six configuration. The reason is very simple. It is you cannot get any more simpler than the fact that an inline six diesel creates its power and its torque with less effort. If you want longevity and you want reliability, you go with an inline six configuration. Putting the truck aside, okay, if you are doing a hot shot configuration, if you're gonna be doing non-CDL or CDL, it does not matter. If you are going to be pulling on a consistent basis, if you're going to be pulling weight on a consistent basis and you want the best reliability out of an engine, then you are going to want an inline six configuration. Now, unfortunately, the only motor that is offered right now in an inline six configuration for pickups is a Cummins. Um, and not, I'm not going to, excuse me, not unfortunately, I like Cummins, um, but there are no other competitors in the industry when it comes to pickup trucks. Now, when you look at semi trucks, and we'll take a second here, we'll show you guys, as I'm currently here at the truck stop. Let's take a second, we'll go out here. It might get a little loud, but we'll go back in in a second. Guys, look, every single one of these trucks out here, okay? Every single one of these trucks out here. You got Freightliner, you got Peterbilt, you got Peterbilt, you got the white Kenworth. Every single one of them out here, guys. Now, look, Freightliner, Mac, okay? I've got a Kenworth. Look, another Kenworth, T2000. Guys. Listen to me when I tell you. You guys need to truly, truly understand this. If a V8 configuration was anything reliable, if it was good in any way when it comes to pulling weight, then it would be in a big truck. No other industry pulls as much as the semi industry. Take it in consideration. No other industry out there pulls like a semi. You're talking. 80 plus thousand pounds moving down the highways, going up and down grades, Vail Pass, 4th of July, Lookout Mountain, Cabbage. I mean, you're talking about some of the biggest grades. And then not to mention, up in Canada, you got even steeper grades up in Canada. What's the, what's that one big one that they, that they did all the uh, the towing uh, stuff? Uh, the Coquihalla, Coquihalla Highway. You have some of the longest passes and steepest grades up there. All their engines are in inline six. Even though they're bigger, you know, 12, 15 liter engines, they're still in inline six. They are not V8s. They stopped putting V8s in, mo in, in, in semi trucks back in the 80s when the, uh, when the uh, Detroit 8V92s 
were dying out. They started going to the big Cam Cummins, inline six configuration. Very, very simple. You can choose whatever truck you want, okay? I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm just telling you from a reliability aspect. If a V8 configuration was something to be even thought of when it comes to pulling heavy weight consistently down the road, it'd be in a big truck. Just plain and simple. So, you guys want to do hot shot, you guys want to know what truck's better, what truck's this, the truck, the truck, you also have to consider that the truck is a business tool, okay? This is for you to haul freight down the road. Now granted, you you know, a lot of you guys have to uh, sleep in the trucks, so you know, some of the creature comforts are gonna come into effect, um, but typically, your back seats, they don't defer that much. You, you, you're, you're looking at maybe an inch at two inches it's no different than the semi truck world okay one offers a 76 one offers a 77 the only the only truck that offers an 85 inch sleeper right now is a Kenworth from factory so you know there there's very very little little differences when it comes to the uh, pickup truck world as far as the uh, the back seat so um you know if you guys are looking at different lighting options oh look the dash lights up blue these aren't things you need to be looking at when you're purchasing a vehicle for business purposes now if you're just getting a little toy hauler and you're just looking to haul your RV down the road a couple of months out of the year pick whatever truck you want they'll all do it they'll all haul your RV down the road they're all gonna go ahead and do that so if you guys are doing RV transport for you know uh, horizon and any of these companies out there you guys can pick whatever truck you want because all those things are so light it's not really making a difference for you guys um but if you're gonna be hauling heavy weight on a gooseneck trailer you know 35 40 foot 30 foot whatever whatever you're gonna be doing if you guys are gonna be hauling weight on a consistent basis you need to consider an inline six configuration now granted dodge is the only one that has it um now, if you're not a Dodge guy, you know, oh, I'm a Ford guy, all right, well, then, you know, maybe uh, maybe buy a Ford and stick a Cummins in it. I don't know what to tell you. Um, and I know there's going to be some people who are going to argue with this, oh, Ford this and Duramax that and blah, 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 blah. Look, look, you guys can argue all you want. We're not talking about truck pull contests. We're not talking about drag contests. We are talking strictly about pulling down the road. I'm not talking about pulling a little bit of weight for a short distance at a track. I'm talking about consistently, mile after mile, two, three, four hundred thousand miles. Granted, yes, it's they're all diesels. Yes, you can get three, four hundred thousand miles out of just about any diesel out there as long as you take care of it. Hell, I've seen freaking uh, Dodge gas minivans get three hundred thousand miles on them because people take care of them. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about overall, overall durability, reliability, and efficiency okay an inline six is going to give you all three of those with less effort and you're not going to have as many breakdowns a v8 has to run harder in order to provide you with the same horsepower and the same torque now guys if you guys don't know this torque is the name of the game when you are pulling it's not horsepower we're not talking about running zero to 60. torque is what gets you started Horsepower is what keeps you moving, but when you start climbing hills again, torque is what kicks in again to pull you up those hills. So when you guys are choosing trucks, when you guys are trying to figure out what truck is best for a hot shot, there really is no truck that is best. That is just simply a preference. The motor and the transmission, the power plant, okay, that is what makes the difference. Now look at Ford for all you Ford guys out there you guys can sit here and argue all you want till you're blue in the teeth okay Ford cannot figure out what they're doing if Ford had something worthwhile they wouldn't be changing it every couple of years first we're gonna go from a 7.3 out of international then we're gonna go to a 6.0 6.3 6.7 dude make up your mind okay Duramax Cummins both of those engines were in an industrial application before they were put into a pickup. That is the reason why a Duramax motor has such reliability versus a power joke. Okay, and I say that with everything I can because power joke is just that. It is a power joke. They can't make up their mind. Duramax, 
Cummins. If you're gonna go with a V8, I suggest you go with a Duramax. If you're gonna go with an inline, you have only one option, Cummins, which means you're gonna be with a Dodge. So all those who don't want to Dodge, oh, Dodge sucks, blah, 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 it's a 300,000 mile motor with a 50,000 mile body, blah, 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 blah. Wash your truck, guys, wash it, you know? Things last longer when you take care of them. If you just want to sit there and drive down the road, just about anything's going to fall apart. But that's besides the point. We're talking about reliability. We're talking about the motor. If you want to know which one's better, what truck is better, truck is irrelevant. You know, truck is just going to be for your comfort purposes. So I guess realistically, when you get to the brass tacks, the, the only thing, the only option that you guys have in a hot shot aspect, if you want an inline configuration, is going to be a Dodge. Now, um, you know, you guys can always buy a brand new truck and, you know, drop a different motor in it. It's going to cost you a little bit of money, but uh, that may not be an option. We're looking at right out the gate reliability. Right out the gate, what's the best for you? In my opinion, and apparently in the opinion of all of these semi trucks out here, all of these semi trucks out here, okay? Billion dollar industry, not your little freaking thousand dollar uh, pot prize at your local drag strip industry. We're talking about a billion dollar industry, guys. Billion dollars, okay? Lots of zeros and commas in between. Inline six is what they use, and they use it for a reason. So if you want to pull and you want to run down the road in a hot shot truck, an inline six is going to get you done every day, all day, without fail and you're gonna have better reliability and efficiency with an inline six than you're going to have with a V8. Not to mention, the, no, the other thing that most people don't take into consideration is that when it comes to mechanics, and I'm not talking about your wrenching mechanics, I'm talking about the idea of mechanics. The least amount of moving parts is going to be your most reliable. Why? Because the more moving parts, the more you have to break down. Well, you have six cylinders, inline six versus V8s. So more parts, more ways to break down. Um, there's, I can go on and on guys, but it, it, it's just a very, very simple fact. Billion dollar industry has figured it out, okay? If you guys are towing, you guys are pulling, then you guys need to be with an inline six. If you guys are just po-dunking around, you guys are just gonna be pulling your little toy campers, little toy haulers down the road, or you're just using it because you want a truck and you just want to be able to pull something here and there, part-time kind of deal, pick whatever you want. That's that's you know, that's that's whatever you want at that point. But if you're gonna be doing it for a profession and you're gonna be doing it for uh, reliability and you're gonna be doing it to be hauling down the road consistently, always running up and down the highways, going up and over most of these mountain grades that we have out here, Eagle Mountain, you know, uh, yeah, I can, I mean, I've already listed them all. So, uh, and you can look on the freaking, you know, on a map, you can see where all mountains are in the United States and even in Canada. So there's lots of grades out there to pull and your inline six is going to do it more efficiency and better plain and simple it's going to do it better without having to work as hard yes i know there's competitions they have these videos with duramax versus inline so Dur duramax versus coming you know yada 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 but you what you need to look at is how hard is that duramax or how hard is that ford working compared to an inline six the reason that they have to do these videos and stress so hard, all oh, the Duramax and the Power Stroke, blah, 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 is because they are losing the game. They're losing the game. They are constantly trying to, to, to overclock, so to speak, or, or modify these motors to keep up with a Cummins. A Cummins comes out the gate and it's consistent every time, all the time. Out the gate, consistent all the time, every time. Your Duramax and your Power Strokes are always, always, always working harder to do the same job that an inline six is going to do. So that's it for today's video, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this up to you guys right away. Um, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be out there wanting to uh, argue this fact. So 
throw your comments below. I welcome all comments, even all the guys that are out there going to tell me that I'm, you know, I'm retarded. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm also a mechanic, not just a truck driver. So, and uh, like I said, billion dollar industry, guys, billion dollar industry. We're not talking about your little toy trucks running down the road trying to, uh, you know, blow smoke and all that fun stuff. So, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, and if you guys want to have a philosophical debate on which one's better, hit me up in the comments. I'll respond to every single one of you guys, all right? Appreciate it. You guys stay safe out there on the road.